457 times 6 equals 2740. Oh, hello, you've caught me calculating how many hours of my life I've spent playing Metal Gear games so far. Spoilers, it's a lot. It happens, doesn't it? There are some games that just grab you by the body clock and shake you into a bleary-eyed mess of just one more hour compulsion. Games that are so damnably brilliant you pour your entire being into them for months on end, sucking every last morsel of gameplay from enormous open worlds and staying up far later than is sensible when you know you've got to come in early tomorrow and send lots of important emails. Emails. 68 more early time and then I can get to level 32. This week's Friday feature then is a celebration of all those times we've ploughed countless hours into our favourite games. It's seven massive games you'll play for 200 hours at least. We'll start with a game with which the must play it every waking hour frenzy has barely died down since its 2014 release. We're talking Destiny of course, a game with a relatively short campaign and a few tight multiplayer modes, and also a game on which the Access team has racked up a combined total of over 400 hours of gameplay, although we'll let you guess who has the most. When you're deep into Destiny, you're like Mariana Trench levels deep. You can't just surface and stop playing or you'll get the gaming equivalent of the bends, which can happen if you're yanked out of a fire team a bit too quickly. Like that. Strike playlists, endless rounds of skirmish, patrolling Venus for spirit bloom, hurling desperate tweets into the cyber void, hoping a not clinically insane stranger will reply and fill the sixth man hole in your vault of glass raid team. Destiny isn't a game, it's a way of life. Okay, it is a game, but it's a bloody good one and we simply can't stop playing it. While we're on the subject of dicking about in sci-fi land, we may as well plunge into the role-playing social life wormhole that is the Mass Effect trilogy, a daunting series of epic space operas that wraps you in its emotionally charged embrace for hundreds upon hundreds of hours and simply doesn't let you go. The story is long and incredible, but like with all good RPGs, the real time sink comes with mucking about in all those side quests. Loyalty missions, explore distant planets in the Mako. I love the Mako. And my personal favourite from Mass Effect 2, probing planets for minerals. I got so addicted to doing this, I developed an ingenious system that enabled me to mine endlessly, even while away from my PS3. When you get properly into a sprawling adventure game, I often feel the need for what I like to call cool-down games. You know, when you've just destroyed a particularly hard boss or survived an exhilarating set piece, something you can stick on to expel all that excess adrenaline, something like FIFA or Pez. Something that, as you cool down on more and more, eventually becomes something you need to cool down from. That's precisely what happened with PES 2015 for both myself and Dave. Every lunchtime, as soon as the clock strikes one, it's time for Master League. Food becomes an inconvenience, shoveled in during replays, other people become an annoyance so they're shoveled out and we lock the door. Sometimes I get so caught up with PES Master League I end up writing scents that don't make any sentences. PES bleeds into real life too, Dave and I talk about it everywhere and all the time. Here are just some of the places we've talked about Pez. In the park. I like how in this Pez, the default players are actually good. At we've the seaside. Sometimes left wing forward support instead striker, of... Instead of Patterson. Yeah. Oh yeah, support striker, not left wing forward. Patterson has been dropped to the bench. In so space. All our cash and put it all on one big... One big player. A big gleaming jewel of a player. Current Pez 2015 Master League playtime. 212 hours.
When it comes to obsessions, you can't get any bigger than Minecraft. It's a game that simply doesn't end. You build, then you build bigger and better. You explore deeper and further. You create new things, discover new materials, kill blockhead zombies, or just muck about with your mates in multiplayer. You can easily invest multiple hundreds of hours into Minecraft without even noticing, and you could argue it goes beyond just being a game. Minecraft ushered in and popularised a whole new way to enjoy video games, which is to watch other people playing them, whether that's via the game's own spectator mode or through YouTube videos. Add in stuff like merchandise and you've got yourself a beautiful cuboid world you can interact with right up until the sun expands, incinerating the Earth and Mo Yang's servers with it. We've got at least 5 billion years until then, however, so get digging. You can't talk about massive, time-sucking games for too long without Grand Theft Auto V taking over the conversation. And for good reason. It's been out well over a year now and is still as exciting as death sliding into Christmas morning. Look at all those gameplay presents. Crime. A big, beautiful city. Tennis. There's so much to see and do and destroy in Los Santos. It'll probably take you until Grand Theft Auto VI to fully see, do and destroy it all. And that's without mentioning the best and most brilliant way to play GTA 5, GTA Online. Here you can create your own criminal and run around shooting other people to create your own criminals by land, sea and air. Best of all, you can take part in online heists which are like Ocean's Eleven levels of cool. I said Ocean's Eleven, not Mission Impossible. You ain't got a snarky comeback for that, have you? No. Here's Final Fantasy X, a game that, if you truly want to master it, will take you, I reckon, about 400 hours in total. And that's not just because it's out on PS4 now, so you'll spend ages gawping at all the pretty. No, the reason Final Fantasy X takes so long to crack can be summed up in two words. Two words that are sure to send a shiver down the spine of even the hardiest JRPG veterans. Dark. Aeons. God, the effort you have to put in to take these things down. You need everyone to have break damage limit first. An ability that raises the damage limit from 9999 to 99999. And to do that, you need everyone's celestial weapons. But that's not enough. You then need to find both a crest and a sigil for each respective weapon. Seven party members means 14 super rare items to find. And then use those to unlock each weapon's true power. Okay, fine. But to get those items, you have to perform perfectly in some of the toughest mini games devised by man. Dodging 200 thunderbolts in the thunder plains, weaving in and out of magical butterflies in Macalania woods, finishing that chocobo race in under zero seconds. So, yeah, five quadruplillion hours later and you'll be tough enough to take down Dark Bahamut, Dark Anima and the Dark Major Sisters, earning you the right to have a crack at Penance, who has 12 million hit points. Goodness knows how long he had to grind for that. To finish off this week's list, we've got the Super King Daddy of open world RPGs. You already know what it is, so turn up your headphones and bask in the majesty of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and that theme tune. At 375 hours and counting, Skyrim is the game I've played more than any other, and when you look at the beauty and diversity of its huge open world, that should come as no surprise. This is a masterful fantasy landscape full of life, secrets and dragons. The minimalist score perfectly complements your lonely journey. Plus, it's a game that doesn't announce big narrative choices with pomp and fanfare. You simply act and both the world and story shape themselves around you. Want to be an evil Dark Brotherhood assassin? Fine. Want to be an evil Dark Brotherhood assassin while also being a Stormcloak champion? of the people, then off you go. I was a thieving fighters guild mage lizard married to a lady called Lydia. We lived in a house in Whiterun and killed giants together every turdas. Thursday. Domestic Skyrim Bliss. If you've got any more games you've played for 200 hours or more, stick them in the comments, give this video a like if you're feeling kind, and subscribe for more like it every Friday afternoon.